Hello guys, good to be back again. I am giving y'all, <clears throat> excuse me, getting over a cold. I'm giving y'all uh, just over a year update. WBP links. Uh, last time I checked in, I believe was September. I've changed quite a few things. Uh, put a, put some more ammo through it. I really don't know where I am ammo wise. Um, I think I guessed 3,500 in the last video in September. Uh, so I, I guess I'm somewhere near 5,000. Um, but again, I, I really am not sure. Uh, my bank account just hurts from all the ammo. Anyways, uh, start off with big changes I've made, or I guess big. Um, probably the biggest has been, got a Trijicon MRO. Got the green dot variant, and I am extremely, extremely happy with it. Uh, I keep it on the three setting just for battery saving, which uh, I think you can see it through there. Uh, it's sort of dim during the daylight, but you can definitely pick it up. Uh, at nighttime, indoors, it's absolutely perfect. And that's what gives you the near 50,000 hour battery life. I think it's a little bit less with the green dot variant but then you put it on four in the field and then if you're just in the absolute sahara you can go up to five and i can't imagine a scenario where you use six but you can <laughs> you can use six too uh, i want to thank a viewer from the last video for recommending this magpul grip i was complaining about how the brace got loose after uh using it some and you weren't kidding the magpul brace or the magpul uh, grip for whatever reason keeps it tight and uh, I, I appreciate that tip. Thank you very much Yes, I said in the last video I wanted to change out the brace I'll get to why I'm not here in a minute if I remember I don't use a script or anything Okay, actually, this is probably the biggest glaring change. I did change out the handguard and no I didn't do SLR rifle works um, I am a poor and the TDI was recommended to me by a guy named Bandito Bill. If you don't follow him on Instagram, I highly recommend it. Uh, he's got some awesome AK setups. But he is telling me he uh, trusts it to run IR on. And if he thought it was that tight, well, then I should try it. And I don't plan on running IR on this part or probably this rifle unless I were to weld on a uh, top rail. But anyways, for just a... Uh, uh, hand stop. I figured it'd be perfect, and it was. It is absolutely ridiculously tight. Um, I mean, I'm not going to be able to show it to you on camera, but it doesn't move, period. No fitting, no nothing. It just doesn't move. Um, and I'm sure TDI wants to say positive things. They told me, uh, they just reached out to me on Instagram. By the way, if you want more up to date, uh, uh, updates on this gun, my other guns, whatever. It's uh, the Armed Hippie. That's I don't think there's any underscores there might be, but just the Armed Hippie, and then GWB will be under name in the uh, in the bio, whatever it is. Anyways, so they said uh, if your AK is to perfect spec, it should be. Um, a tight fit right out of the box. They said that they spec theirs to a uh, Russian 74M. So if it's to that spec, then it should work. Uh, again, I don't know. That's just what they told me. Next big change, Surefire. And yes, we've had more problems with Surefire. <laughs> uh, but before we had problems, I said in the last video, um, I sent it off to their customer service, which, oh my God, was that impressive. Uh, it wasn't. They sent it back to me. It seemed faulty out of the box. Then they sent me another battery, and it seemed to be fixed, um, but more problems have arisen. I did move it back another Picatinny section, get it a little bit further back. I mean, come on, guys. I'm not, I'm not going any further back than that. I actually don't even think that I can. But, uh, yeah, it ran all right for a while. I went ahead and got the uh, tape switch for it. 
which has been very nice. Don't have to reach up with the thumb and hit that button anymore. And just come over with my finger, which is already sort of rested there coming off of the CAG grip and uh, hit it. It's very, very useful and I'm happy with it. But the light broke again. So let's see, you can see with it. Yeah, see how it dies out like that? That's with the fresh battery. Um, so that's awesome. Uh, I will send my $230 light off again. And let's, <laughs> let's talk about how Surefire customer service went this time. I called them and they, it sounds like they usually want you to pay for shipping. And I just wasn't going to do that. I said, so are you at least going to pay for shipping? He said, oh, well, yeah, we can do that. But, um, we're at the mercy of UPS. So we'll send you a label when it gets here. I don't even know what that means. Right? Like, I've never heard of having to wait for a UPS label. Uh, he told me should be here by Monday. This was last week. It's now Tuesday and no label yet, but whatever. We'll see. I'm sure there's things going on I don't know about. So I'm not going to bitch too much about that. Outside of uh, that, I have pretty much taken a hiatus from shooting this thing. And it's not because I don't love it, I do. Um, it's because I sort of went to the dark side. I ended up getting a BCM MCMR upper and I don't know ARs as well as I should. So I decided to take a break and get as proficient on the AR platform as I can. And in the meantime, I will be saving all of my money to get a can. And uh, the thing that really helped me make that decision was I always noticed when I got done shooting, I had like this tenseness in my head, right? Uh, but I never really thought that much about it. And you'll probably think I'm being a bitch, but it is what it is. My buddy was shooting it and I was standing behind him, right? And I was uncomfortable standing behind him from the blast off of this. And Ever since then, like, it's just bothered me. Like, I couldn't stand the concussion anymore. And I don't know why the sudden onset, it didn't bother me as much for the first few thousand rounds. It bothered everyone standing around me, but me, the shooter, it never really bothered me. So, I've been wanting a suppressor anyways, and so I just decided, you know what, I'm going to get one. And AKs are my favorite rifles to shoot. Pistols, too. Uh, and so my motivation for getting a can is I'm not allowing myself to shoot this thing till I get a suppressor for it. Which suppressor I'm going to get? I'm not sure. Uh, WBP says I should be good to run a 7.62 can, just a normal can. The uh, thread should be concentric. This version was threaded at the WBP factory. This is the tactical Lynx version. Um, and they say it should be good to roll. And so I'm thinking maybe the Nomad because I would like using the Nomad not only on this but on the AR uh, back and forth versus the PBS-1 or the, excuse me, the Dead Air Wolverine is made for AKs, optimized for AKs, etc. But uh, truth be told, it would look sort of stupid on an AR. That's just my opinion. So I might want to get the Nomad. Uh, I don't know. I am thinking Wolverine though because... I can put it on all my AKs, which I can't be certain are threaded correctly. Also, thinking about getting a Dead Air Wolfman so I can use it on my handgun also. All right. Well, I think that's all I really had to nail on. Uh, if you're wondering where the sling is, I took it off, put it on my AR. Uh... I can't sing enough praises about this handguard. Highly recommend. I can shoot a pretty heavy schedule. I don't do mag dumps. That's just not something I do. But I can uh, run some drills that go through a couple of mags. And this is very, very, very tolerable. Uh, I've been extremely happy with it. I've been extremely happy with the optic. Um, WBP, you knocked this absolutely out of the park. And I can't wait to continue to use it for a very long time. I do have it uh, clean right now because I was putting it up for a while. Um, I do keep it loaded and just take the magazine out. Um, yeah, without anything else, I'll see y'all next time. Hopefully I will have a suppressor on it. 
again, if you uh, want more up-to-date on um, what's going on in my gun world, I did start an Instagram gun page. It's The Armed Hippie. And uh, hopefully I'll see you all over there. If not, I'll see you all in the next video. Uh, thank you all for watching, and you all have a great 2020.